Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Will Patterson, and welcome back to a new video. Today, we're doing something a bit different. We're doing a review of Vectinator. If you don't know what Vectinator is, it's basically a vector design app. So it's kind of like Adobe Illustrator, and it looks like this on the icon. And basically, you can bring in vectored pieces of work, like Illustrator work, anything else that you think of. You can design logos, you can do anything. You've got some samples here of what people have done, which is... If you have a look, it's pretty unreal, as you can see here. And did I tell you that it's completely free? I've got my little forks glove here as well. This just helps me slide along my iPad uh, without, you know, dragging it on. And I've also got a paper-like screen protector. So as I said, this is a vector art app. And it used to be paid for, but now it is completely free for you guys to use. And I use it a lot in my work. And the Vectinator have asked me to basically do a review. So it is a sponsored video, but it's a review of things that I love about it and showing you some of the cool new features that have been put in here now if you swipe along here you go to the new section and you can see where my ipad pro giveaway video was because you could enter into here look that looks really cool i wasn't expecting to see this on here so that's pretty nice that they've done that and it's got a bunch of tutorials everything that you can think of to get started it's in this app you can see me here again wow they've got a lot of me in this app look at that <laughs> So I'm going to jump into something that I've worked on before and I think I'm just going to go into this one here. I used this document here before to show you that I can basically draw anchor points perfectly within this app here. Now the great thing about Vectinator for me is the ability to use anchor points. If you don't know what anchor points are, anchor points are these little fiddly things here. So when I slide over them you can see I've got these horizontal and vertical anchor points. Now what these allow me to do is to really finely tune my shape. And this is part of the vector or the logo design process that I take to create really nice looking art. And I've just butchered it there, but it's all good. Panel now is like a sliding gesture based panel. So it's all neatly stacked. So you can get all this stuff out the way, but then you can also look at it. I'm gonna just go ahead and find my layer panel here. And I don't want that to show. So what I wanna do is actually create some shapes. And on here, I've got my toolbar. I was gonna quickly choose my circle tool down here by just selecting it. I'm gonna make a new layer by just adding a layer over the top of it like so. I'm gonna make a circle and if I put my finger down, you can see that when I do that, it constrains the angles pretty well. So there's my circle. I can change all the colors through the style tab here. I can go into the arrange tab so I can order them from front to back path tab so i can like you know use the pathfinder options here i've got my layers and then i've got my templates so you've got templates for other things like you know the ios watch os and android and you can make your own down here on the right as you can see this is a nudge feature so if i use this it's going to nudge in the direction that i'm telling it to if you've got the new ipad pro with the apple pencil when you double tap it will change it to the last tool that you use on the panel you've got the pen tool so you can actually pen tool things in very easily and you can constrain them to angles you got a brush tool so you can apply brushes to your work so you can get those cool people like those tapered effects of the brushes you can get that within this app as well you've got a text function here so you can actually bring text into here just tap and you can create text and you can also import all your vector files as well from creative cloud icloud bamboo slate all of these places so there's loads of ui improvements inside of the app as of now which is great for me i like ui improvements it makes my life a lot easier give these a little switcheroo but one of the best features that they've brought in is the ability to add more artboards so i can be on this artboard here that i'm working on and add a new one by just pressing this one and it brings an artboard up here and you can change the values of your artboard as well if you like. So I might want more of a square one too. Now I want to create like a sort of icon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to a black very quickly. Just like so. It's very, very fast what you can do with the colors as well. There's so many things inside of this menu. It looks very simplistic, but it's not. It's actually can go quite deep into here. And then I'm just going to select this and I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to paste it and move it down here. I'm just going to change the color to this to white so I can see what it could look like. I'm going to start creating some colors. I'm going to scale this down, keeping the constraints. And we're going to create a weird icon here. I'm not too sure what I'm making. I'm just really playing around with it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select these two shapes 
and go to my Pathfinder tool. I'm just going to minus front that and minus front that. And we've got our little shape here. I'm just going to add another shape to the bottom here as well uh, because I want another circle down here. Go back to my move tool. If you know how to use Illustrator, you know how to use this. Everything is literally just a canvas for you to start drawing and creating shapes on it, which is the thing that I like most about this. I don't have to worry about anything else other than what I'm touching. So I can select these two and I can scale them into shapes. I can actually do this as well if I need to, which I don't, don't really want to. And then I'm going to go ahead and hopefully try and unite these two. So we've united them as a compound shape. And then I'm going to create another shape on top, which is this white one here. But what I want to do with this is change the color. And I want to change this to the front. And I know this logo looks very odd right now. So I can bring this down, move it in. And then on here, I'm just going to minus front that. And we've got this shape here. So using these geometric shapes, we were able to create this really weird looking icon. Works when it's small. I don't particularly like it too much, but it, it is what it is. Now, the main thing about this app is the abilities to do things. So if you're an illustrator, so someone who does a lot of drawing in vector-based art, it's great for you. If you're a typographer, it's great for you as well. Now, I brought a normal image into here. This is just an image straight from another drawing app that I've used, and I want this to to be auto traced in. You can't do that with any other app on the iPad yet where you have all this functionality that you do on here. So all I'm going to do is basically just go ahead and select the image and it's got an auto auto trace thing or an image auto tracing, but it automatically put it up here. You can see here that it talks about the max number of points or paths that you have, the minimum path size. And when I press auto trace, you'll see down here that it's traced it and it's brought it in. And if it was more high fidelity, in the image it would have captured it beautifully but as you can see this is a very low version of the image but it's good done a good job in actually vectorizing the style of work that I want it I can easily just go ahead and delete that if I wanted to as well and I've got my vector part here and I can go ahead and change it up so this is a great way of taking an image of your work and getting it vectorized pretty quickly and you can mess around with it and play with it all in all I think the best part about Vectinator is the ability to create more in a quick format it doesn't feel clunky at all it feels very natural adding strokes adding shadows adding anything that I need changing the color is very very natural to me even editing the actual work that I've done so for instance all my tools are over here it keeps it very streamlined and simple. But I'm really excited to see what you guys can do with this. I'm a high lettering artist, so I've created a lot of different versions of my look and i use vectinator mainly for my hand lettering as you can see here i go ahead and i trace around all of my work because i like to do some hand lettering this is the facebook logo one that i did for a video works really well in vectinator and you've got all the other ones that i've done too such as you know the christmas one down here i think that was just me trying to play around with vectinator when i first got it but as you can see i can do a lot in here by correcting anchor points and even with the new changes using these like multi-touch tools or multi-gesture tools like the pen tool really does help me in what I can do. If you'd like to know more about Vectinator, click that link down below. It is completely free if you have an iPad. And when the Mac OS, the new one comes out, you'll be able to use Vectinator on your Mac as well, which is pretty exciting if you tell me. If you enjoyed this video, then press that like button and make sure you press that red subscribe button so you never miss out on another video. Making sure you also turn on that post notification thing because that notification button is a huge one. If you hate the video, press the dislike button twice and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you soon. Goodbye.